Welcome to Tea Dimension Channel. I'm your host, Carmen. Hey, Kenji. Are you going to teach me a cooking class today? Of course not. Today we will talk about high speed photography, and the models will be a bottle of milk, some toy eggs, a bowl, and a glass tank. So, shall we start now? Sure. All right, go ahead. High-speed photography is the science of taking pictures for very fast motion. In general, high-speed photography may refer to either or both of the following meanings. The first is the photo itself may be taken in a way as to appear to freeze the motion, especially to reduce motion blur. The second is a series of photos being taken at a high sampling frequency. The first requires a good sensor and either a very good shutter system or a very fast strobe light. The second requires some means of capturing successive frames either with a mechanical device or by moving data off the sensor quickly. To understand the basics of high-speed photography, it is important to understand how manual focus works rather than using autofocus on digital cameras. Although it's possible to take photos with autofocus, when it comes to high-speed photography, using manual focus will lead to more successful in capturing the motion. There are two very important elements you should consider when taking high-speed photos. The first one is the aperture. Surely, you may not want to capture the perfect moment with an out-focus range. Therefore, try to use more depth of field to ensure all objects in the photos are in the focus range, and let them being sharp in the image. Next one is shutter speed. To capture the perfect moment with sharp objects in the photo, you have to use quite a higher shutter speed to capture it. 1 over 200 seconds is the minimum. The shorter the shutter speed, the sharper the image. In order to capture the frozen moment, we have to use a strobe light rather than using continuous light. Try to use 1 over 200 seconds or above to freeze the object. Make sure the glass tank is well cleaned before shooting, because you will be shooting through the glass and make sure it has no reflection on every angle. Remember, shooting in high-speed photography a tripod is a must. For the object, try to use something with proper weight so that the splashes come out perfectly. Position the object in the middle of the bowl. Make sure to focus manually. Before dropping the object, check carefully the object being dropped is positioned in the middle of the bowl. To drop the object at the right time, you have to count with your partner each time, and try some more times if the picture is failed. You may want to shoot for several times, so be patient. Try to get the picture where the splash looks like a crown, and make sure the splash is sharp enough. We 
you really have to shoot through a clear glass, so make sure your helper will be there. Throwing the object into the milk will be a total failure, so don't try this at home. Hey Kenji, how do you feel today? Well, um, yeah, I feel great. It's <laughs> funny. So what are you going to show us for the next episode? Maybe um, a part of beer. Beer? Yeah, I'll show you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.